طيب بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعلى آله وصحبه ومواله uh, Welcome everyone inshallah um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays 9.30 to 10 uh, we'll have live sessions as well as Fridays so Fridays as well we'll do live sessions since there is no khutbah we're gonna just follow uh, the Tuesday Wednesday live session um, schedule so your morning classes will be only an hour and then we will do the live sessions. Um, we're going to also send uh, a form, a Google form for everyone for feedback. Uh, you can tell us how classes are going, how the timing is going. Um, some people are already kind of suggesting, how about we do like, you know, two uh, one hour classes with an hour break in between so that uh, they can be shorter instead of 80 minutes. Um, but then the 80 minutes is important for, um, feedback for the teachers to be there for you um, anyways there's different um, different suggestions coming in so if you have a suggestion you can bring it in obviously we won't be able to uh, fulfill everyone's requests and suggestions but we'll see somebody might have a good idea and then uh, you know we'll, we'll discuss it but we will we will send you guys a form for your feedback on on how the schedule is on how the classrooms are on technology on whatever it may be all right um so inshallah uh do fill that out and give us your feedback uh when we do send it out uh we're gonna probably send it out every thursday we're gonna do it weekly the forms will be weekly so that uh from week to week you can you know voice your opinion and give us your feedback um inshallah Taib, so uh first of all uh alhamdulillah we have to say Alhamdulillah, right guys? Uh, whatever happens, uh, we thank Allah because we always say things could be worse. Things could, uh, you know, um, we're, the fact that we are still healthy, we have, um, you know, uh, a home, we have security to, uh, of course, to a certain extent. Um, we have food, we have shelter. Uh, still the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ that whoever wakes up in the morning, feels safe in their home, has a shelter and has food for the day, then it is as if he has the whole world or she has the whole world uh, for them, right? Of course, it's uncertain times. So being anxious is, is normal. Um, uh, dealing with it is what becomes important, right? Uh, as Muslims, alhamdulillah, we have Iman, which should make it a little bit easier for us, right? Um, it should make it a little bit easier for us. Uh, to deal with this stuff because we know Allah is in charge. We know um, if there are any trials or tribulations that we face, we get rewarded by having patience and trusting in Allah. So it's not uh, just, um, you know, I feel sorry for people who don't have Iman during this time, to be honest. People who, who uh, you know, see the world as just a bunch of atoms and molecules and uh, just uh, nature and, and, and there's no ultimate force behind it. I feel sorry for them. I don't know how they're coping with, with everything. Um, now, um, there are some good questions over here and I'll, I'll take those questions later, but I wanted to ask everyone, um, you know, how, how is it going guys? How are you guys coping at home? Uh, how are you guys coping with uh, not having too many real human beings to interact with besides your 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 parents and siblings? Um, how are you guys uh, you know how are you guys coping? So I want to just hear from from you guys how you feel, how are things uh, you know going? What do you guys feel is happening? I know there's millions of uh, you know messages on on all over social media, all over the internet, all types of funny memes and stuff out there. Um, but you guys tell me, uh, anybody you want to share, inshallah, uh, how things are, are going? Yeah, it's, it's chaotic staying home with uh, family, with three younger siblings. Somebody's having uh, coping with online school. 
Guys, um, just to let you know, the online school is a blessing. Trust me, it's a blessing. If you're home having nothing to do, only thing you want to do is entertainment, you will get so bored of that entertainment, you will um, actually feel like you're not producing anything, you're not growing at all, you're useless. It's gonna like it's gonna it's gonna hit you mentally hard by not doing anything. My nephew who goes to public school, um, he's not doing anything, right? And he's really worried and stressed, like what the heck, what the heck am I gonna do? Like I'm not doing anything, right? Um so the fact that you can still learn, you can still uh do something, you can still uh, achieve you can still impact your your marks your grades and all of that stuff that's a really really good thing all right um so yeah um if you don't even have the online school it'll be that much more boring right so um inshallah take it uh as as something positive inshallah yeah someone forgot how to speak to other people that's funny um hey look social media use it to interact with your friends in a positive way inshallah like i'm talking right now right so i'm not forgetting how to talk um so this is my avenue to keep uh, talking although i talk a lot to my kids uh but uh, yeah alhamdulillah yeah some of you are uh, playing video games uh but again wallah even video games if you just play video games video games video games you get like you feel like, yo, man, what the heck am I doing? You feel you're not producing. Your instincts don't feel satisfied. Like, they're satisfied while you're playing, but then after you're playing, it's like, boom, oh, man, now what, right? Um, right, somebody feels like they're in the Will Smith movie. I don't know why Nada feels like that, but... Some inside joke there. Okay. Um, oh, good one, Mr. Haq. <laughs> right. So, I mean, I'm asking easier questions here than math. So uh, I can I can imagine math class. No one, no one, no one talking. Um, so inshallah, um, we can we can do uh, different uh, stuff. Inshallah, I'm getting some good suggestions also on the anonymous Google Classroom. Um, you know, people want to talk about hell and heaven. Uh, people want to talk about end of times. I think end of times is a good one, right? Um, with all the stuff happening, people theorizing that the jal is around the corner, that you know this is all a pretext to uh, to the jal, right? Um, that, uh, you know, Mahdi is, is, is coming, uh, in that, uh, you know, um, different conspiracy theories out there. Um, so I think, I think it's good to, to reflect, uh, and to really know about end of times because, uh, thing with, uh, end of times for the longest time, people have been prophesizing when the end of times will be. And what events are, you know, kind of, oh, this is, this is from the hadith, that's from the hadith. Uh, it's, it's hard to predict, but it's good to know because, um, like, for example, there's, there's a sheikh right now who's saying uh, the jal is around the corner. This whole coronavirus is a hoax. This whole coronavirus is a, um, you know, a means to control all the masses and prepare everything for the jal, right? Um, so, um, yeah. All right. Um, so with everything happening, I want to ask you guys again, you guys can type up your answers or you guys can uh, take over the mic. Um, you can, uh, say it out loud, inshallah. What are you most worried about? Um, this thing goes on for a couple of more months. What are you worried about? What makes you anxious? Um, what makes you worry? Uh, what are you worried about in the world?
So some people are still worried about marks. Uh, worried about uh, people being laid off. Not leaving the house. The future, what about the future in particular? Yeah, well, the, the masjids closing down is, is a big deal, especially in Ramadan. Um, can you imagine we go through all of Ramadan without being able to go to the masjid once? Yikes, that's, that's going to be uh, difficult. Allahi. That's, that, that saddens me. Uh, one of the most things that saddens me is the fact that we can go to the masjid, right? Um, SubhanAllah, this is a time where we need the masjid the most. This is the time where we need to interact with the community and pray to Allah and all of that, and it's not happening. Um, yeah, for those who are worried about marks, honestly, guys, just do your work and inshallah you'll be fine. Don't worry too much about marks, right? Um, time management, well, definitely you need to have some kind of routine for yourself. Otherwise, uh, every day is going to feel like uh, another day with nothing happening. So do, do be productive. Economy is going to hit pretty bad. Uh, 100%. Um, uh, motivation for school. I think um, everyone will be really missing school and not complaining about being at school anymore for a while once uh, school's open, whenever that is. Yeah. Um, imagine during Ramadan not being able to even go out for iftar, not even being able to go visit your your family your your grandparents uh during iftar uh that is that is something that is difficult to be honest yeah family members uh getting sick um may allah protect all of us and our family members um most likely certain family members will get sick guys um, just probability wise and the way this thing is moving and what experts are saying uh, unfortunately uh, they're saying 30 to 70 percent of the population will get the virus eventually um, so let's uh, pray that uh, if we do and whenever we do that um, our immune system can can protect us and Allah can give us healing is Ramadan canceled this year? Ramadan is never canceled, guys. The Ajr is always there. The Rahmah of Allah is always there. Will Masajid be closed during Ramadan at this point? It looks like it, unfortunately. All right? At this point, it very much looks like it. All right? Um, university applications, grade 12s, don't worry about it. Um, with these exceptional times, they will make exceptions, okay? So exceptions will be made, uh, ways will be made. Universities need students. Universities need you to be there for them to keep running the university, keep getting your, your tuition fees. So don't worry about universities. You will get into universities, inshallah. Just like I said, uh, do, your, do your classes, inshallah. Hajj getting canceled is, is very possible, uh, again, we don't know. Um, I'm just hearing right now, China was in lockdown for two months, or um, the province, uh, the Hubei province was in lockdown for two months. They're just about to open it up, uh, except the city of Wuhan. So you're looking at uh, just the, the Chinese model, what they've done, it was about uh, two months. So let's see the, if Hajj will be open up by then or not. Eid, we'll all come uh, on Zoom on Eid, okay? We'll celebrate Eid together in Zoom. Uh, so don't worry, inshallah. But yeah, uh, that's going gonna, gonna to affect, uh, affect us all. Uh, your, your uncles and aunties, don't worry, they can do money transfers to your uh, bank account so that you can uh, enjoy Eid. But uh, we'll see. Um, yep. Uh, Q 
Corona is a biological weapon created by the UN to make sure the population doesn't get out of hand. There are theories. There are theories, definitely. Um, there isn't 100% proof, but there are, but there are certain, um, you know, incidents that um, lead to some kind of to, to questioning. By the way, this is something. Um, it's not just necessarily population curbing. There's economic wars, there's uh, power grabbing, the elites uh, always want more, more, more. So they're Allahu A'lam, like Allahu A'lam, these, these are things out there. Uh, we don't want to be just uh, conspiracy theorists, but at the same time, we don't want to be completely naive uh, to what's happening out there. Okay. Yeah, exams, guys, uh, we're looking into it. We might, uh, there are two, two options for exams, really. Um, option A, um, it'll be more big projects, right? That your exams are going to be a culminating task. Option B, if things uh, work out, there are online places where, um, you know, they have resources and, and a better technology platform, et cetera, where you log in and write the exams and teachers would put up the exams. Uh, we're looking into all this stuff, so don't worry about it. Um, we'll have something for you, so don't, don't worry too much about that. Uh, da, 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 da. Being worried for the elders is definitely something we all need to be praying for the elders. Um, SubhanAllah, the virus is really takes a toll on, on people who are older. So for those of you who have uh, grandparents alive, make lots of dua for them and really protect yourself from this virus to protect them, right? Uh, please uh, do, do what you can. Yeah, parents losing jobs, uh, it is a concern. Um, all my brothers lost their jobs already. Um, my brothers got laid off and uh, they're waiting to see what EI holds in store for them. They're trying to look for other, um, you know, jobs or whatever, whatever it is, but it's, it, is, it is difficult and we'll see how things go with that. Yeah, don't worry about volleyball. Uh, I mean, Yep, the early numbers did say 30 to 70% eventually, not all at once. That's the whole, guys, the whole thing why um, they're, they're trying to isolate people and shut down things and, and the social distancing, it's to flatten the curve. You probably heard this many times. It's so that the population don't all get it at once or so many people don't all get it at once because that would uh, put a strain on the whole medical system, on the beds, on the care, right? So what they want to do is have people get the virus over time. So people slowly, slowly over time get the virus, right? Um, so that the medical system can take care of it. Otherwise, when this happens, like it's happened in Italy, Spain, and other places moving towards that, uh, what's gonna happen is uh, people are really gonna die, basically, all right? <clears throat> Does Isna need us? Uh, I need your du'as. Um, I think there were some volunteering that was being done, but right now, for the next two weeks with the um, shutdown really of all non-essential services, everything is pretty much shut down. So, um, yeah. Grade 12 graduation, will it be online? Let's see what happens, inshallah. Uh, we'll see what happens. Um, July uh, or June is still, you know, a good, uh, what? That's no, not a good, it's a, three months away, April, May, June, end of June. So yeah, it's a th three months away. Let's, let's take it, guys, a uh, week at a time. And don't think, you see, when you keep thinking, oh, this will happen, this will happen, that will happen, um, it might bring you down. All right, so I'm gonna stop. And there's subhanAllah, so many messages here. Um, I'm gonna try to go all the way down. Taib, 
I'm going to ask you guys uh, the opposite question. What good can come out of the situation? Inshallah, the situation, let's say it's uh, resolved in a few months. We don't know how long. But what good can come out of it? Can you guys think positive now? Tell me what good can come out of it. Okay, what, uh, what, uh, you know, what are some positive things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can bring about or that we can contribute in bringing about? What can we do? And what will this, you know, do for everyone? So population dropping, population control. You guys are bad, man. Come on, man. You guys want people to die? No, inshallah. Um, you know, um, there, there are enough resources in the world and um, we don't need to, you know, have people dying. All right. We will be more humble. Um, we will be more humble and more in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hopefully people do come closer to Allah. Um, as mentioned here, it is an opportunity to come back to Allah. It's an opportunity to read Quran. Guys, you know, if you weren't reading Quran at all, this is an opportunity, time management, put in, you know, start with half an hour, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever you can for the day to also uh, do some Quran. All right. Um, Self-evaluation, drastic decrease in environmental pollution, definitely, definitely. There's like gas is 60 something cents. So um, yeah, the, the, the environment, the, uh, the forests, the animals, they're all gonna be pretty happy, right? Everything except humans out there are probably happily right now. Uh, global warming going down, bad factories and factories that produce pollutions, yep. We get to relearn how to speak English. I don't know how we're going to relearn to do that without speaking it. But uh, maybe we speak it through online more. Maybe we type properly. Although people don't type properly usually when they're chatting it up. But uh, inshallah. Um, yeah, really, the gratefulness part, I d definitely agree. Being grateful for the simple things that you, t you took for granted, right? Just going into Tim Hortons and sitting down. Like, man, I miss that, right? Um, I used to just sit down there and, you know, do some emails and stuff. And like, oh, I have nowhere to go. Um, but uh, I'm lucky I still have Isna. All right, I'm still here. I still get to chill. I have the whole building to myself, alhamdulillah. So I'm even more grateful for that, right? <clears throat> um, there's always good, guys. Honestly, don't, don't, don't say nothing. There's a lot of good. Yeah, appreciating a lot of things in life. Vitamin D. I don't know how you're going to get vitamin D. Yeah, people will practice hygiene better. Spend a lot of time with the family. Yeah, get closer to your family, closer to Allah. A lot of du'as for the ummah. The ummah has been suffering. A lot of people in the ummah have been suffering for so many, so many years. You know, when we talk about uh, when you're fasting, you have a little bit of empathy with people who are who are hungry. Um, now you can have empathy with the people who have occupation in their lands, who have bombs falling on them, who are under, you know, severe oppression in different places so that, you know, we can wake up and maybe do something for them. Um... Enhance video game skills, okay, somebody's, uh, but then everybody is, video games is also being enhanced at the same time, so, you know, you're going to still lose because other people are also getting better, just, I'm just saying, Yani. Patience, through isolation, right, appreciate our health, yeah. Uh, yeah, we are better than a lot of people in the world, really, uh, guys. You know, you can you can be out there and feel sorry for yourself and oh my God, or you can really be grateful now. You don't need to be grateful when th whole things uh, are changed. You need to be grateful now, right? Um, 
And remember uh, that uh, really Allah is in charge. Allah is in charge. Allah is in charge, right? Um, that's why we need to put our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We need to uh, do our part, right? Don't be negligent. Don't be like, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to go out. I'm going to do whatever. No, no, no. Take care of things. At the same time, don't have fear. The fear is what kills people, right? Um, I was just, uh, somebody sent me a video and they said that uh, they had this experiment. <coughs> people before going for surgery, um, a nurse would come to them and say, hey, how did you book your surgery with Dr. So-and-so? Um, it's so hard to get uh, a, a booking with him. He's the most renowned, you know, uh, physician in the world. And it's so hard to get, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, um, an appointment with him to get a surgery done. Uh, everybody wants the surgery done with him. His uh, rate of success is 100%, right? So what that would make is the patient would get so excited and so confident, right? Their reliance is on this doctor now that this doctor is so good. And uh, what that would do kind of is uh, it'll put them so positive and um, the surgeries would actually come out a lot more positive through this kind of mind uh, games that they were doing with these patients to make them that much more confident, right? We have that already with Allah. We know Allah is in charge. We know Allah is the one who heals. Allah is the one who gives uh, blessings, who takes away blessings. Allah is the one who gives rizq. Allah is the one who provides. Um, you know, our job is to do the best we can. With yeah, right? Um, but uh, Allah is the one who um, is in charge, right? And Allah is the one who can do everything for us. We still have to do our part, but we should not panic. We should not be scared. We should not be worried, um, you know, um, and, and, and be in a, in a positive mindset, uh, inshallah. All right. Um, yeah, don't take your toilet paper for granted, um, for sure. And don't take your water for granted, guys. Imagine there are countries in the world right now that don't have water. So imagine being isolated and barely having water. I don't even know how they would do it, right? Um, I know I speak to my dad in Iraq and uh, the, the military is there. They've kind of, uh, you cannot leave a, a, a anywhere. You can't even leave your neighborhood. Uh, people are really locked down, locked down, locked down, right? So whatever we have, we say Alhamdulillah and, uh, you know, we, we look forward to better things, all right? Um, guys, fill out the uh, Q&A form, the anonymous Q&A form. Uh, if you have, uh, inshallah, specific topics you want to talk about. Um, I do have Tazkiyah in mind to talk about. I have Hell and Heaven that I want to talk about. Um, and I want End of Times that I want to talk about. Uh, on Fridays, we'll try to do Tafsir Surah Al-Kahf, inshallah. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. I see, I think people are pretty uh, happy chatting it up on the side. So we'll keep the chats uh, going, inshallah, so people can still interact through chatting. Uh, if people want to ask questions physically, they can. Uh, you know, with 100 students, uh, it'll be hard to have multiple people at a time talking, but uh, I welcome any um, questions, any conversations, all right? So yes, inshallah, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, correct, uh, guys, it's Tuesday, no, no, not Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday, right? Uh, we always had Tuesdays and Wednesdays, so that's not changing. We're just adding, uh, we're adding Fridays. Yeah, not Thursday. Okay, guys? All right, uh, we'll stop here. Subhanakallahu bihamdik. Nashadu wa la ilaha illa ant. Nastaghfiruka natubu alayk. And by the way, we'll record these sessions and just post them on All Things is Nahai. If you cannot make it for a day, no problem. Inshallah, you can still uh, watch it but it's much more fun being live and chatting it up here i enjoyed uh, you know seeing all the chats here so uh, at least there's some form of socializing happening so may allah bless you all guys um as much as it's nice being in the school it's not the same without you guys i miss you all may allah bless you all take care guys assalamu alaikum <laughs>